Hi there. In this video, I'm going to do a quick run through of what you get with Beltmaker. Once you set it up as your asset library, you get these three items. First of them, the Beltmaker, our main item. Here's what it looks like. Here are all the uh, different items that make up this mesh. And they are all contained in this collection. We don't need it right now. And those um, objects are the buckles and extras. You can drop your own meshes in here to customize your belt. Let's hide it for now. And this is what we get. How it works is this mesh will follow this uh, curve. Uh, let's change it a bit. And then in the modifier stack, you get these settings. They're all very straightforward. So let me start the length, uh, the holes, the bonus length, and the scale. These are our, our main controls. And then we go on to the style settings. So we can choose out of two body types for the belt. Uh, this is the first one and the next one is the flat one. Then we can uh, choose different uh, starts, different beginnings and ends. It's exactly the same here. So first you cycle through the buckles and then we go on to the different types. And there is this one extra option here, which is the middle buckle. And when it's at zero, it means none. And then we get this. So we also cycle through the buckles and then we get these guys. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the style. Next are stitches. For this, let's bring our example belt. Yeah, just because it looks nicer. So the stitches, it's also very straightforward. On, off, the spread. Yeah, it works really nice. The length, thickness. And for the offset, the offset actually works best with this type of uh, body for the belt. And so, yeah, here you get your offset. So you can really make it your own. Then we can move to the extra section. Uh, here you can uh, choose different types. And once again, you can drop your own meshes in here. And when set to zero means none. Uh, then of course the amount. Let's change the type to something more cool. Uh, yes, the amount, spread and slide. And then let's go on to the output section. So right now what we have in the viewport is the high poly mesh. And if you would like to bake it here, you can change it to the low poly. So to see the wireframe, it looks like this. And with this low poly, you can choose uh, whether you want the holes and your mesh or not with this slider here. And what it does, it changes not only your low poly, but also your high poly. So when uh, set to off, uh, so no holes, it also will change your high poly uh, by adding those cups into your holes, which should help with the baking. And then there is this setting for the preview of the subdivs, set it to one. And finally, uh, we have UVs. Uh, so to preview your UVs, let's turn on the checker material. Uh, this is our basic setup for the single element. So there is this styling here, but once you set the UVs on, yeah, this is what you get. The seams are already placed and it works also with the low poly. Yeah, so that's it for the belt maker. 
Also, you get this custom belt, which is a simplified version with those uh, placeholder hold meshes. Yeah, for you to edit and, you know, make it your own. Here are some guides for it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you will enjoy using Beltmaker. Thank you.